guys, what is going on? Tells A6 here with Weekly Review, and today we're going to be doing the unboxing for a very epic game, probably one of the most epic games that has ever come out for the Nintendo Wii. And that game is for Xenoblade Chronicles. Now, this was a very limited release game that you can only buy from GameStop, and there are another couple lists of uh, pre order places that you can buy it from. You can actually buy it from Nintendo's website and several other websites, but Anyway, before we go ahead and start the unboxing for this, let's go ahead and show off the uh, very limited pre-order item that also came with this. Now, if you bought it from GameStop, which this is a GameStop exclusive, you would get the very special Xenoblade Chronicles art book. So, let's go ahead and real quickly take a couple looks at the art book itself. So, as you can see, we have uh, Monado's blade on the front of it. And also, I might want to mention that the uh, the actual entire art book from the characters and around like all portions on this is lifted, so it looks really nice. And I love the art style and the colors and everything in this whole entire art book. It's very pretty. Uh, and it's very nice. And there you have on the back you have the Monado blade, and then you have one of the characters in the game. And again, you have one of the uh, one of the gods right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at some pictures. So we have right here where it talks about in the beginning two great titans, Bionis and Mechanus, fight an epic battle until only their lifeless bodies remain. And I love I love the detail and pictures in this. It looks gorgeous. I swear to God, it looks gorgeous. And here we have uh, our character Shulk. Shulk lounges in the grass near a friendly bunnet high above Colony 9, which is one of the places it takes place in the game is Colony 9. Here we have a picture of uh, Ruggle Lake with uh, Shook again. And again, these, these are very highly detailed pictures in this art book. And they are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, they're, they're really gorgeous. And I'm going to be taking very good care of this art book. So here we have the, uh, the marsh. This is the Sutural Marsh. And again, we have Shulk right there on the bottom. And again, beautiful coloring. I love, I love the art style that they chose for this game. It looks gorgeous. I mean, I know that people are saying that the graphics do not look that good, but you got to remember something. Graphics do not make a game. I'm sorry, but it's it's a been known fact. I mean, if you look back all the way to back to games like Super Nintendo and stuff, uh, a lot of people didn't think like Star Fox was ever going to be that big of a hit. Hey, Star Fox did fine. So here we have another one. This is for uh, Machna Forest. And we have uh, Malia. I believe that's Malia. And then we have uh, Riki of the No Pawn, who is a, uh, another character in the game. And then, I mean, just tons and tons and tons of beautiful artwork. Here's another one. Now, this one is gorgeous. This one is of the Irith Sea, which is uh, the journey, one of the parts of the journey in the game that you'll be going on to. So it's a very big game. And here's another one of the Sword Valley, another very beautiful picture. And then here's all the listings for all the characters. You have Shulk, you have Fiora, you have Rain, excuse me if I'm having problems. Uh, we have Malia, we have Sharla. We have Dunban, or excuse me if I said his name wrong, uh, Dunban and Ricky. So, I mean, guys, very beautiful game. Very beautiful artwork, too. And here we have Metal Face. Very nice artwork. Then we have Exord, or excuse me, Ord. Because I know a lot of the, a lot of the X's names in the, the game are silent. But anyway, that was the art book. So now, without further ado, Let's go ahead and unbox the game. And I'm probably going to fail at it too. Or wait, never mind. Here we go. So, this game alone from video game charts uh, for the final actual pre order number was slated to be around 200,000 pre orders. Which, to some people, that may not be a lot, but. In my opinion, it's still pretty good. So, of course, we have the Club Nintendo. 
So we're going to take that out real quick. There we have the game, Xenoblade Chronicles. Beautiful game. Beautiful, beautiful game. Also, of course, if you like Xenoblade Chronicles, check out Kirby's Dream Land, Rhythm Heaven Fever, and Zelda, which I do recommend Zelda. I actually recommend all of these games. I haven't actually played Rhythm Heaven, but I've heard it's supposed to be a good game. And then we have the actual manual, which, again, I'm pretty sure is going to be beautiful. And now, also, here's another thing that's actually really cool that I'm going to show you guys. Uh, if you do not like the current slip cover that's on there, it is reversible, and you do have the same one that you have from the art books. So, if you guys wanted to, you could actually rechange it, and we're actually going to do that real quick. So let's go ahead and take a look at how it looks the other way. Actually looks pretty awesome. And it has nice spine. The spine's very nice, but I think I'm going to keep it the other way. But it still looks really nice. Anyway, anyway, guys, let's go ahead and check out some gameplay of Xenoblade Chronicles. Okay, so guys, here's a little bit of the gameplay for Xenoblade. So let's go over the controls real quick for anyone who wants to know. Um, I'm actually using the Nunchuck and Wii Remote combo. Uh, basically show off how the controls work. So C, if you hold down C and then use the D-pad, you'll be able to use the camera. You'll be able to have it come up close to you so you can see. There's Shulk. Right there, you can move down, and you'll be able to go up in the higher mode, and then you can reset it with Z, so you can have it facing behind you. And of course, if you find treasures, you just press A to get them all. So like we have one that's a uh, caterpillar soup, and we have a broken antenna, so let's take them all. And basically, it tells us exactly where we have to go. So you have this map, which is right up here. It'll tell you where all you're supposed to go. So let's go ahead and take out some enemies. So the way to... Uh, attack enemies is just by pressing on Z to target them and then to initiate a battle just press on A and then just take them out and to circle through different types of uh, arts and stuff you just use the D-pad to be able to do that you can use different arts uh, some of them used for replenishing your health and then other ones for using to inflict other damage on and so we got another treasure chest so let's see what's in there we got some stiff hair, so yeah, we'll take that too. So now let's take out this next one, which is a little Skeeter. And the game, if you have ever played like a game like Final Fantasy or anything like that, like the Final Fantasy 13 games, it kind of has a feel like that, but the controls are not very hard to get used to. Um, I actually want to try this out though with the circle pad. I've heard it actually is better on the circle pad than it is with the uh, Wii Remote Nunchuck. But anyway, let's see if we can find some more. And Now, I mean, I really, really like the graphic style of this game despite what a lot of people have said. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it. Okay, so we have another thing where we uh, gather collectibles. Uh, the latest additions to your collection can be registered in the Collectopedia. Fill in a row or collect all the items in an area to receive a reward. And then you can access them from the main menu, which to access that, of course, you just press on the minus button. And you can go to different ones with the D-pad. You can be able to go to different systems, journal, party, your arts and skills, your items, and your area maps. So let's go ahead and save, actually, real quick. Let's go ahead and save our progress. And, I mean, guys... If you haven't already picked up this game, you need to pick it up, because I mean, so far I'm really liking it. I think it's going to be a really good game, I think it's going to be a whole lot of fun, and plus I've heard that this game is incredibly long. I mean incredibly long. So, anyway guys, hope you, uh, hope you have enjoyed my gameplay and unboxing of Xenoblade, or Xenoblade I should say. So guys, until then, this has been Tales 86 with Weekly Review. Take care. Later. Now it's right time. Didn't even break a sweat. Cool. Let's keep this up.